Hello everyone and welcome to the first video in this series which is a 2x2 CLL tutorial series and there will be three videos in this series and in the first video I'm going to be just giving an introduction to CLL and teaching you two of the easiest subsets. So CLL is a method where you solve any one layer of the 2x2 and the last layer is solved with just one algorithm. This in comparison to layer by layer where the last layer is solved with two, two algorithms ideally is a lot more efficient but there are more algorithms naturally. And um, for the CLL method, there are about 40 algorithms and seven subsets in total. Each subset has about six algorithms, except for one of them, which has only four. So um, yeah, let's get right into this video. So um, in this video, I will be introducing you to the H subset and the T subset. So the edge subset involves this. The edge subset involves cases when you have headlights here and headlights here. So I'll be using white as my base for the, this entire series just to make it simple for everyone. But obviously you can solve on any color depending on the scramble. So white is the base and you have two yellows here and two yellows there. So these are like opposing headlights and this is called the edge. So because it's like, you know, it's sort of an edge. So the recognition for these cases is de dependent on these bars. So how these bars form. So um, uh, let's get right into this subset first. So the first case in this subset is this one, which is the one I've been using to introduce uh, the H subset. And um, for this, it's the algorithm to solve it is very simple. You hold it like this with the bars vertically aligned with respect to this. And you do R2, U2, R, U2, R2. So it's very simple. Again, keep the bars vertically aligned with the headlights here and here. R2, U2, R, U2, R2. So that's the first case for the edge cases. Moving on to the second one. So this is the second case in the edge subset where again, we have the headlights like this, but now the bars are horizontally aligned with respect to the headlights. So for this, you can use multiple algorithms. Of course, I won't, I may not be showing you the best algorithm for you, but these are good algorithms and a lot of top solvers use them. So for this case, which is the headlights here and here, the edge case with horizontal bars, the algorithm I use is I do a slight rotation to move it here, which is an X prime. And then I do U2, R, U2, R2, F2, R, U2. So it's very fast. And yeah, so uh, again, going over the execution again, you have headlights here and here with horizontal bars, X prime, U2, R, U2, R2, F2, R, U2. So uh, yeah, that's the second case for the edge cases. Moving on to the third one. So this is the third case in the edge cases. As you can see, we have headlights here and here. So it's an edge case. We have a bar and then not a bar. So basically it's like the first case, except there's no bar of an opposite color here. So in this case, what you do is you hold the bar on the right. Again, this is the edge, um, this is one of the edge cases. You hold the bar on the right and you do this algorithm. R, U, R prime, U, R, U, R prime, F, R prime, F prime, R. So again, it's basically, you're removing this corner, moving it to the back and inserting it with this, but now you do a head slammer, which is F, R prime, F prime, R. So uh, yeah, again, keep the bar on the right. Just remember that you have to keep the bar on the right and yeah, that's the third case. So moving on to the last case. So this is the last case among the edge edge cases. And again, as you can see, we have the headlights here and here. So it's an edge case. Again, we have the bar, but now the bar is sort of vertically aligned with respect to the edge. If you remember in the last case, it was horizontally aligned and we put the bar on the right. But in this case, the bar is vertical. So what you do here is you put the bar in front facing you like on top here and you do this algorithm. F R2 U prime. R2, U prime, R2, U, R2, F prime. So um, again, the, the way you can recognize this is with the bar being vertically with respect to the headlights, put it, put the bar in front and again. So this is similar to one of the OLLs actually, which is how most people remember it, except you do, you're doing R2s instead of just R. So again, F, R2, U prime, R2, U prime, R2, U, R2, F prime. And every R2 is alternating with R2 and R2 prime basically. So yeah, that was all the cases in the H subset. Now we will move on to the T subset. So in the T subset, what we have is two yellows solved on top, which are adjacent to each other. And the other two corners have yellows here and here. 
so it forms like a t basically it's 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 kind of yeah you have to visualize it that way but yeah so again the the way you recognize a t case is when you have two adjacently solved pieces on top and the others are facing away from each other so they're, they're like one headlight here and one headlight there and um yeah that's the way you recognize the t cases now to recognize the case itself like that's the way you recognize the subset to recognize each case you will look at the colors on these corners these four corners will be very important so um let's get right into the first case so the first case is this one which i've been uh, using to demonstrate and this is where these two corners match up and these two corners match up so you have green here and orange here right so the way you solve this is it's, it's the same as a 3 by 3 oll case in like the 3 by 3 oll case which you use for this is this case and as you can see the corners are the same green here and orange here i mean i'm using this orientation but yeah they're the same colors and for this case which is a t with these two blocks you do r u r prime u prime r prime f r f prime so here we do r u r prime u prime r prime f r f prime so this is not a new algorithm to most cubers who know that oll so uh, yeah that was the first case in the t cases now we go to the second one so this is the second case in the t cases and here as you okay as you can see we have a t right we have the yellows here and front and back so we have a t but here you see red and orange are opposite colors and green and blue are opposite colors so since we have both opposite colors if we do the same algorithm we'll get a y perm which is not what we want obviously we want to solve it in one algorithm but the fun the fun thing about this case is that this is basically the same case but with a lefty version so if i move it to the back you'll notice that these two are the same color and these two are the same color so what that means is this is just the lefty version of that oll and if i have to demonstrate that it's something like this right so if i look at it from the front these are opposite colors and these are opposite colors but from the back it's like a lefty case and you have that it's left left version of this basically lefty version so i recommend doing the lefty version because it can be sort of done with the right hand and the way you do it is r prime f prime r u r u prime r prime f and it's the same same as doing l prime u prime l u l f prime l prime f so yeah again you have the t you have opposing colors here so we do a u2 and then you do r prime f prime r u r u prime r prime f it's the same thing but with the left hand so yeah that's the second case now moving on to the third one so this is the third case and as you can see here we have okay we have a t obviously with these two and these two like this but here you have opposite colors on top and now the thing we used to recognize this is the fact that we have opposite colors on top as well as here it's like a checkerboard pattern but not exactly so for this case you recognize by seeing this fact that you have opposing colors here and here and the way you execute it is by putting the t here so basically you make this bar face you and then you do f u prime r u2 r prime u prime f2 r u r prime so again you have the t and you have opposite colors here and here so you put the bar in front and do f u prime r u2 r prime u prime f2 r u r prime so that's the third case now moving on to the fourth one so this is the fourth case which as you can see we have a t again and now we have a bar here as well as a bar here so it's very easy to recognize this case and the way you solve this is again you have a t and these two bars in this case you put this yellow bar at the back and you do this algorithm r prime u r prime u2 r u2 r prime u r2 u prime r prime So again you have the t and you have these two bars a bar here and a bar here you put this in the back with this uh, yellow bar on top and you do r prime u r prime u2 r u2 r prime u r2 u prime r prime it's basically like a fancy way of removing the two corners which are on this side so you're doing what r prime so you're doing r prime u r prime u2 r u2 r prime u r2 u prime r prime so yeah it's very uh, it's a very nice and convenient case So moving on to the next one. So this is the next case where again we have the T as you can see the yellows here and the headlights here. So we have an opposing an opposite color case as well as a bar. So it's a it's like a mixture of the previous two cases except the bar is here and the opposite colors are here. 
the way you solve this is by putting the bar and the yellow block basically in front of you it's like solving this basically and you do r prime u r u2 r2 f r f prime r so again we have the t case with opposite colors here and the bar here you put the bar in front and you do r prime u r u2 r2 f r f prime r so that's that's the fifth case moving on to the last case so this is the last case and as you can see we have another t with the yellows here and here but in this case we have the bar here and the opposite colors here that's the way you recognize this case and for this what we do is we keep the bar at the back the yellow bar at the back and um, we do this algorithm is this this algorithm is like like an like a combination of a lot of ols but this is what it is f r u r prime u prime so pretty simple till there and instead of doing f prime you do r u prime r prime u prime r u r prime f prime so again so this is the case and you have the same t with the bar here and headlights here you put the yellow bar at the back and you do f r u r prime u prime r u prime r prime u prime r u r prime and f prime so that covers all the topics for this video and um, we we will make two more uh, videos in which uh, we'll be discussing the remaining subsets of cl so uh, yeah that's all for this video you have if you've followed through with this video and um, sort of gone through the algs and got them into your muscle memory you now know two subsets of cll which is 10 algorithms and you have 30 more to go so yeah all the best in your journey and stay tuned to this series see you